Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sorting out this chest of drawers. Yeah, it is a bit wonky. The camera angle's not funny. It actually is like that. It's got a leg missing. So I'm going to be sorting that out as well. I'm going to be sanding it down and making sure all the little dents are out of it and I'm going to paint it. I might fill some of the deeper dents but let's see how it goes with sanding it. Okay, first of all, let's see if we can sort the leg out. It's got nice dovetail joints here. Probably just need a bit of a sand down. I'll see if I can clean up the inside of the drawers a bit as well. Yeah, let's first of all start by taking the drawers out. And then let's have a look at this foot, see what's going on here. Well, you can see what's going on, it hasn't got one. But to sort that out though, it'd be a bit sharp, so I'll take that off. I think the easiest fix would just be to take all the feet off and then just leave it with that bit there. That one comes undone. That's a bit tight, that's it. Okay, they're not unscrewing, so I think the easiest bet is just to break them off, but as long as it doesn't leave a sharp bit, should be okay. I'll just hammer that in a bit. Okay, I'm going to hammer these screws in because you can still feel them a little bit. Okay, that's that sorted now. I'm going to take it outside and give it a good sand down. I'm going to sand this down using a belt sander as it will be much quicker. I'm making sure I'm using an old medium grey sandpaper as I don't want to take too much off as the belt sander can be quite harsh and rip through the wood really quickly. I'm making sure I'm sanding this with the grain. The sandpaper is 120 grit paper. Right, now to do the sides. I'm doing exactly the same. I'm going with the grain, except near the top and the bottom, I just have to turn the sander sideways. It's taking out all the dents and the little nicks that were on the top and the sides. The sides weren't too bad. I'm going to briefly sand the back, but it won't be seen anyway. OK, now just to do the front. There's a little dent there. I'm just going to sand out. I'm doing this really carefully, as the belt sander can just rip through the wood. Great, that's done. I'm just going to use a sanding block with a medium grade sandpaper. I'm just going over this by hand as some of the areas have still got little dents in. Right, that's all done now. OK, I'll give it a quick brush down. OK, I'll give it a quick wipe down with a damp sponge just to get all the sawdust up. I'll let this dry and now I'm going to sand the front of the drawers. I'm sanding this down by hand but the front of the drawers are really bad and they've got quite a few dents in. So I'm going to give it a good old sand down with the belt sander. I can't quite get the belt sander close enough to the drawer handles. And I don't want to take the drawer knobs off as they're glued on quite tightly. I'll brush off all the excess sawdust and then give this a wipe with a damp cloth. I'll let these dry out and then now it's on to the next stage. OK, let's have a look see if I've got any old paint that I can use up to paint the chest of drawers. That might work, there's a bit of an old grey paint. Let's see if we've got enough. So what I'll do is I'll put a bit of tarpauling down outside and I'll prepare it all ready for some painting. I've put tarpauling down because I don't want to get paint everywhere and then I'm just making sure that the paint is stirred well. I'll paint the drawer fronts first. I only actually need to paint the front as this will be the only bit that's on show. I'll let these dry inside just in case it rains. Okay, now for the other ones. That looks much better. Now for the main section. I'm putting this on my workbench 
just so it's at a comfortable height for me to paint it. It's probably going to need a few coats of paint. It's just drying now. It definitely does need another coat of paint, as you can see right through it. Okay, now to paint the back. It really needs sorting out, as it looks awful. So I'm going to give it a good couple of coats of paint. Okay, I'm just going to use another pot of paint for the back. It's a slightly different colour grey, but you shouldn't notice if I put it on the back. It needs it done on the back because it just looks terrible at the moment. This one's a little bit old and rusty, but let's see how it goes. That looks better already. There are still a few little marks and scratches and gaps in it. Okay, these have been drying overnight. They don't look too bad, but there's a couple of little funny bits on them. For example, where where the belt sander was a little bit too harsh with them. So it's got a bit of a gouge in it, but I think I'll be able to just hand sand it out. Also, you can just see the varnish underneath where I didn't sand it properly has started to come through a bit as well, and it's a bit darker. So I'm gonna resolve that. I'm gonna give it another sand down, and that should fix it. Okay, I'm gonna sort this out. I've given it one coat, but it actually does need another coat. You can see just here where it needs another coat of paint. And then I think I'm going to fill some of the bits as well. There's a crack here, so I'm going to put some flexible filler in there. And then on the back, you can then see, even though it's the back, I might actually fill some of that just with a bit of flexible filler and even down there as well. I think that will make it look a bit nicer and even the holes here. And then just to get it nice and smooth, just go over it with a wet sponge or a wet cloth or a damp cloth and just give it a wipe over. Just the top bit to do. Now I'll let that dry before I give it another coat of paint. I'll take them outside into the light and I'll show you exactly where the varnish is coming through. You can see it right here, the varnish is coming through. So I'll give it a light sand and then another coat. Great, that looks much better already. I'll do the other ones exactly the same. I've bought the main section outside and I'm just going to give it a quick rub down to make it nice and smooth and to smooth out any of the filler that I've used. This will help the final coat of paint to be nice and smooth without any rough bits. And now for a final coat of paint. Okay, this has dried, but it does need another coat of paint because there's a mark here. There's also a bit of a dent just there, um, so I might fill that as well, just so it's nice and smooth. This one here is a little bit rough, so I'll give it another sand down and then another coat of paint. Great, that's all finished now, and you can see what it was like before and then what it's like now. All the little dents are gone and it's all nice and smooth. Look at the state of it before, and it looks really very nice now. Okay, that's finished now. I ended up giving it three coats of paint and used up about three different pots of paint. And in the end, I ended up with a top coat of a chalk paint. So hence, it's quite sort of matte and chalky. It's come out quite well. I just had to rub it down between each coat just to get some of the dents out. So overall, I'm happy about that. That's another DIY job done and something else upcycled. 
So thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and give the video a like. See you next time for another DIY video.